First Alert 5 weather. Live look in Canyon City at this hour. Mostly clear skies and it is a hot one out there. 96 degrees the current temperature. Winds are fairly light out of the southeast at around 7 miles an hour. Humidity values also continue to be low around 12%. Up in Woodland Park we go. Much cooler temperatures but still warm for up in that location. 79 degrees with an east southeast wind around 5 miles an hour. And yeah, we're keeping our eye on some of these lower hanging clouds here. Maybe a little Virgo will fall on occasion just from time to time. Also around the region at this time we've got some mid 90s out here on the plains. 85 for Springfield. Rain cooled from some thunderstorms that rolled through earlier. 92 in the Springs, 96 in Pueblo, and some 70s down in the San Luis Valley. A little cooler out there. We have a little bit more cloud cover to deal with, especially down towards Alamosa at this hour. Some rain showers up near Buena Vista and out towards Springfield and Walsh. But was with all some of those showers have now moved out into Kansas. So here's the disturbance here in the Four Corners area. We're still getting plenty of moisture working into the region. But what will also work into the region over the next couple of days is an area of high pressure. So here's the jet stream. Plenty of winds up to the north, but watch what starts to develop here over the next couple of days. High pressure starts to build in here, a large dome of it, and this is what's going to cook our temperatures. But we're not going to be completely clear in terms of sh chances for showers and thunderstorms. We're going to tap into some subtropical moisture, and then by Wednesday and Thursday, we might see a couple spark off here underneath this dome. But out towards the east, this is where we have the heat advisories for the central plains, Kansas, Missouri, out towards Arkansas and Oklahoma, and even here in Colorado Springs and up towards Denver, we have heat advisories for the next couple of days. So the future cast looks like this. This little trough here, this is what sparked those showers and thunderstorms in southeastern Colorado earlier today. Mostly clear tonight, but then tomorrow we have another weak disturbance moving over top of us. And because we still have a lot of moisture, it's not going to take much to spark off yet again some more showers for the higher terrain. The question is, will they move into our neck of the woods? Well, let's find out. Mostly clear during the overnight period, and as we head towards tomorrow afternoon, we start to pepper the skies once again with some scattered showers. Maybe a few out there on the plains as well. We do have the moisture, we do have the energy, but they're going to be fairly light in nature. We're still going to keep that chance in here for the Pikes Peak region as we head towards tomorrow evening. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, mid 60s on the plains, it's going to be a warm one. Lower 60s along I-25, some 50s up for the higher terrain. But I also want to point out once again, we have the heat advisory, Colorado Springs, El Paso County, Pueblo and Pueblo County, Eastern Fremont County, and even up towards Denver in the Denver metro area from noon until 6 tomorrow. And I'm not going to be surprised if we start to fill in some of these eastern counties as well because the heat is going to be with us for the next couple of days. Hundreds along the Arkansas River Valley, along the Kansas border, 90s along I-25, 80s for the higher terrain. And here are those warmer temperatures. Just look at this mediogram here. Tuesday will be the hot one for us. We'll dip in our temperatures, and I say dip with quotation marks because 90 will be the warm spot for us, and then we'll get towards mid-90s once again for Thursday and Friday, but the reason for that dip, that's that subtropical moisture that I was talking to you about, and the chances for showers and thunderstorms. 93 for us here tomorrow, an isolated scattered sprinkle is possible, but Wednesday, that's what I want to point out. There's the moisture moving in the state, temperatures drop. We're going to shave a handful of degrees off of there for an afternoon high of 90. But that temperature, it does depend all throughout southeastern Colorado on the cloud cover, on the development, on whether or not we get some of those isolated showers and thunderstorms. Wednesday, Thursday as well. You notice these temperatures. We're talking lower 100s down in Pueblo to upper 90s, but it'll be here and there in terms of the temperatures because of the cloud cover. By the time we get towards Saturday, that's where we get a better cold front moving in and cooler temps.